find a comfortable seat. And we'll begin rubbing the palms of our hands together, bringing focus and energy into the palms. And we'll take the fingertips and gently brush them across the forehead, temples, and cheeks, brushing away any worries or expectations. Bring the fingertips to the eyes, palms to the cheeks, turning your attention inward. And take a couple of deep cleansing breaths. When you're ready, you can float your hands down. You can either keep your eyes open or have your gaze, I mean, excuse me, keep your eyes closed or have your gaze downward. Extending the spine up tall, shoulders back and down. Lift the heart with each inhaling breath. Sitting bones sinking toward the earth with each exhale. We'll tune in with three ohms. Feel free to join in or just absorb the vibration. We'll take a deep breath in. Oh. Take a moment to absorb the vibrations of the mantra as it connects us all as one. Allow yourself to settle here this Saturday morning. And set an intention for your practice. Something you'd like to nurture or cultivate within yourself. Bring your awareness back to the breath. Allow each inhale to bring you here, to this room, to this moment. Allow each exhale to release anything not needed for your practice today. With your next inhaling breath, allow the belly to soften and expand. And as you exhale, draw the belly toward the back. Follow your body's rhythm, expanding on the inhale, contracting on the exhale.
With your next inhaling breath, expand the belly and open the ribs, reaching them out to the side. And as you exhale, contract, relax, and lower. Oops, sorry, I'm <laughs> mixing up my breathing instructions. <laughs> so expanding the belly, opening the ribs, contracting and relaxing. Now with the next inhale, expand the belly, open the ribs and lift the chest, creating space for your heart. And as you exhale, contract, relax and lower. Continue this full deep breath, expanding the lungs in all directions with each inhale. Completely releasing the breath with each exhale. As you continue this full deep breath, gently begin to decrease the pause between the inhale and the exhale, moving into the continuous or circular breath. If you'd like to, you can imagine a large water wheel in front of you, inhaling the wheel, Gently moving toward you, exhaling the wheel, moving away from you, creating one continuous motion through the breath. Take one more full continuous breath. And when you reach the end of your exhale, gently return to your natural breath. Taking a moment to notice any changes you feel in your mind or body. Remembering that our breath is always with us to help find those moments of peace and calm. Now bring your awareness to the right hand, allowing the tips of the thumb to point your finger to come together. And bring those fingertips to your heart center. Turning your attention deeper inward toward your heart, looking within for your inner light and your inner joy.
As you find that connection with the light within you, allow its warm glow to flow on the breath throughout your entire body. As you find that connection with your inner joy, allow it to radiate up onto your face in a smile. And breathe it out into the space around you. As we continue our practice, allow your light and joy to flow through each breath and movement, honoring all that you are in each moment. When you're ready, you can float your hand down and gently open your eyes. If you'd like to switch your legs or change positions, please go ahead and do that. And with our next inhaling breath, let's scrunch the shoulders up by our ears. As we exhale, press the shoulders back and down. Inhale, lift and squeeze. Exhale, back and down. Inhale, lift and squeeze. Exhale, back and down. Inhale, the hands in front of the chest, palms facing down. Tuck the shoulder blades back and down, gently squeezing, lift the heart. And let's gently press the elbows back toward each other, lifting the heart, gently squeezing the center of the shoulder blades toward each other, bringing out any tension. Opening the arms wide, we'll gently turn the palms up, squeezing the lower corners of the shoulder blades toward each other. Breathing into the heart. And if it feels okay, you can flex the wrists, pressing through the palms. And we'll bring the arms in front, crossing the right over the left. Bending at the elbows, hands back to back or left hand around the right wrist. Lifting the elbows up to shoulder height, dropping the shoulders away from the ears. Gently squeeze the arms together, pressing the elbows forward as you breathe into the upper back. Jaw and neck stay relaxed. And then if you'd like, you can gently begin to lower and lift the elbows. Sending that stretch around the shoulders. And with your next inhale, if you'd like, you can gently lift up, arching the back. And as you exhale, fold over, coming down just as far as feels okay, listening to your back. Letting the weight of the arms open through the upper back. And then coming back to the center and unwrapping the arms, opening wide. Breathing into the heart. And we'll bring the arms in front, crossing the left over the right. Bending at the elbows, hands back to back or right hand around the left wrist. Elbows up to shoulder height, dropping the shoulders away from the ears, gently squeezing the arms together. Pressing the elbows away as you breathe into the upper back, allowing the jaw and the neck to stay relaxed. And then gently lowering and lifting the elbows as that feels okay.
And with your next inhale, lifting up, gently arching. And exhale, folding forward again, just as far as feels okay. And coming back to center, we'll unwrap the arms, roll the shoulders back and down. And we'll interlace the fingers, pressing the palms out in front. Press the, or roll, excuse me, roll the shoulders forward, drop the chin and round the spine. Inhale, lifting the arms up. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, lifting, gently arching. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. This time as you exhale, leap the palms up and gently drop the chin toward the chest. Softening the elbows, roll the shoulders back toward each other, gently squeezing the upper corners of the shoulder blades together. Relaxing the back of the neck and softening the jaw. If it feels okay, you could press the palms up a little higher. And with your next inhale, lift the chin. And as you exhale, float the hands down. Having the hands on the knees, let's make some big circles with our torsos. Reaching those ribs around just as far as feels okay. And noticing where you might feel some tightness or tension. Seeing if you can soften around that, gently letting go. And the next time you're in the center, we'll reverse direction. And the next time you're in the center, we'll come back up tall. Let's bring the um, left knee to meet the right. So we'll have the feet on the left side of us, sitting on our right hip. Can stay on a blanket or cushion if that feels better. If you need something under a knee or under a hip somewhere to help you feel more balanced, please add that. And then we'll inhale the hands behind the head, lifting the heart. As you exhale, we'll bring that left elbow toward the ankle. Inhale, lift up tall. Exhale, reach. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach. Hold and breathe. Dropping that right hip toward the mat. Lifting up through the right elbow. Chin is away from the chest gently. And with your next inhale, lift up tall. And as you exhale, float the hands down. We'll bring that left hand to the right knee, right hand behind the right hip, face forward, deep breath in. And as you exhale, gently twist over the right shoulder, lifting the heart with your inhale, gently twisting with your exhale. And with your next inhaling breath, come back to the center. And we'll switch our legs as we let that breath go. So feet are on the right side, sitting on our left hip. Again, finding supports as you need it, or also bringing the knees a little further apart if that feels better for balance. We'll inhale the hands behind the head, lifting the heart. 
And as you exhale, bring the right elbow toward the ankle. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach. Hold and breathe, dropping that left hip toward the mat, lifting the heart, elbow reaching up toward the sky, breathing into the side of the body. And with your next inhale, lift up tall. And as you exhale, float the hands down, bringing the right hand to the left knee, left hand behind the left hip. Face forward, deep breath in. Exhale, gently twisting toward the left, head comes around last. Lifting the heart with the inhale, gently twisting through your exhale. with your next inhale come back to the center and let the breath go and let's extend our legs out in front of us scooting our feet down toward the end of the mat gently flexing the feet lengthening the spine Shoulders are back and down. You can gently rest the hands on the mat or on your legs. Think about engaging the quadriceps in the thighs, drawing the kneecaps up gently, but trying not to hyperextend the back of the legs, excuse me, the back of the knee. As we flex the feet, press through the heels, lengthen through the crown of the head, and then gently think about pushing into your sitting bones and then tilting the pelvis forward just a little to help you lengthen up. And with your next exhale, soften the legs. We'll inhale the arms up over the head. And exhale, gently fold forward just as far as feels okay. Hands on the legs, floor, or feet. Inhale, lengthening the spine. Chin is away from the chest. Exhale, softening, releasing through the low back and the back of the legs. Noticing where you feel that tightness or tension. Softening around it, gently letting go instead of pushing through. As I said, that it reminds me that every time I say things like that, I usually am saying them for myself as much as I am for you all. It's a metaphor for life <laughs> as well as for yoga. Letting go instead of pushing through. <laughs> Lengthen a little more with your next inhale. Soften a little more with the next exhale. And then inhale, lifting the spine tall. We'll bring the hands behind the hips a few inches with the fingertips pointing toward the hips. Can work with um, inclined plane here or reverse table with the knees bent, feet hip width apart, lifting here. So finding the position that feels best for you today. We'll inhale, lifting. Exhale, gently lower and hover if that feels okay, strengthening through those arms. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower and hover. Inhale, lift. And hold and breathe if that feels okay or continue coming up and down. Pressing up through the hips, but keeping the elbows slightly bent so they aren't locked and we're using those triceps in the upper arm. Head is extended out from the spine. 
or the chin tucked toward the chest, just not dropped back onto the shoulders. And with your next exhale, we'll lower down and shake out those wrists. Let's take the right ankle and bring it over the left thigh. We'll bring the palm of your left hand onto the right foot and interlace the fingers and toes gently. And begin to make some slow circles with the ankle. Stretching your foot as far as it can go in each direction. Trying to release the muscles of the ankle, letting the hand do the work. And reverse the circles. Then we'll unlace the fingers and curl them around, or excuse me, under the little toe side of your foot. Bringing your left hand, nope, that's your right hand. <laughs> Bringing your right hand under your ankle, lift your spine tall, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, lift the foot toward the forehead, doesn't need to get anywhere near there, just go that direction. <laughs> Inhale, lower, lengthening the spine. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Can have the foot in the palm. Bring the foot to the um, center of the forearm or into the crease of the elbow. And then we'll bring that right arm on the outside of the leg. You can interlace the fingers if that feels okay or hold on to the leg and we'll gently rock. Gently lubricating those hips. And then gently hug the leg toward the torso just as far as feels okay. And we'll lower the leg down. Take a moment to kind of notice how that feels, one leg compared to the other. Then we'll bring the left ankle over the right thigh, placing the palm of the right hand on the sole of the left foot and interlacing the fingers and toes. And we'll make some gentle circles with the ankle. Again, trying to let the hand do the work releasing the muscles of the ankle. And reverse the circles. And then we'll unlace the fingers and wrap them underneath the outside of the foot. Left hand underneath the left ankle, spine lifts tall. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, lift the foot toward the forehead. Inhale, lower the leg, lengthen the spine. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. And inhale, lower. Then you can again keep the foot in the palm of the hand, bring it to the forearm or into the crease of the elbow. Left arm comes on the outside of the leg, either bringing the hand to the knee or wrapping the elbow onto the knee and interlacing the fingers. And from whatever position, you can gently begin to rock, lubricating that hip and giving ourselves a little gentle rocking regulation. <laughs> And then gently hugging the leg toward the torso and lowering the leg down. 
Let's gently roll onto the back for a moment. We'll bring the knees over the torso, lengthen through the spine. Bring the arms out at shoulder height. Let's drop the knees to the right, vision to the left. Releasing the muscles around the hip as you ease into the twist. Let go a little more with your next out breath. And then with your next inhale, use the belly muscles to bring the knees back to the center. And we'll gently lower them to the left with the exhale. Vision toward the right. Release the muscles around the hip. Easing the spine into the twist. Letting go a little more with the out breath. And with your next inhale, come back to the center. We'll spread the knees wide and you can either slip the hands behind the knees or reach the arms between the legs, taking hold of the arches of the feet. From either position, bring the soles of the feet to face the ceiling. Lengthen through the back of the neck, low back sinks toward the mat. Easing the knees outside of the ribs just as much as feels okay, and consciously softening through the hips. Relax the muscles of the face as you surrender into Ananda Balasana, Happy Baby Pose. And we'll gently lower the feet down. Bringing the knees together, you can either roll to your side, pressing up with your hands, or slip the hands behind the knees, kick the feet over the head, and gently rock up. And let's go ahead and work a little with forward boat while we're here. We'll bring our knees bent in front of us. Taking hold behind the knees, lift the spine tall. Also make sure that it's clear behind you in case you tip backwards, which happens sometimes. <laughs> so coming up onto our toes and our tailbone, lengthening through the spine, you can lift one leg and then the other, or if it feels okay, you could lift both legs, having the calves parallel to the floor. Think about drawing the lower belly muscles down like a seat belt. You can stay here, or if it feels okay, you could extend the legs up a little higher. And from either position, you can keep hold behind the legs, or you could reach the hands alongside the legs. Really paying attention to your body, what feels okay in this moment, noticing what's happening with the belly, really pulling those belly muscles down. If you want to rest, you can pull the knees in and balance or drop the toes. And then coming out again, maybe in the same position, maybe less extended or more extended. You can kind of play around with having the knees close to the chest or further away if you'd like. <laughs> Definitely works your core muscles a little more as you extend in and out. Just depends on what your energy level is today. Let's do one more breath. And then we'll lower the feet down. Drop the knees out to the side. We'll press the feet away from us, making a diamond with the legs. Slide the hands underneath the shins. 
bringing the hands either on top of the shins, ankles, or feet, rounding the spine, dropping the chin, and releasing into star pose. And then we'll gently roll the spine up, shoulders back and down. And let's come forward onto our hands and knees. And again, if you'd like some padding under your knees, if you don't have padded carpet, um, you can add that for a little extra support of the knees. We'll have our hands under the shoulders knees under the hips, softening the elbows, head extends out from the spine. Oops. <laughs> With your next inhale, lift the tailbone, drop the spine, lift the chin. Exhale, tuck the tailbone around the spine, drop the chin. Inhale, lifting, spine follows. Exhale, rounding. Follow the breath. Strengthening on the inhale, releasing on the exhale. With your next inhale, come back to the center. And this time as you exhale, let's bring the, turn your, um, turn to look at your right hip. So you're gently squeezing that right side shoulder and hip toward each other. Inhale to the center. Exhale, look toward the left hip. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Once more, right. Inhale, center. And left. And inhale, center. Let's reach back with the right leg, dropping that right hip so the hips are parallel to each other. Excuse me, parallel to the floor. Flexing the foot, reaching back through that right heel. Notice if you've kind of collapsed over onto that left hip and stack it over the knee, keeping the elbow slightly bent. Lift the heart. If it feels okay, you could lift the leg a little higher using those glutes on the low back. And if you're feeling steady and wanna bring out that left hand, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, keep the hand on the floor. And take a couple of deep breaths. We'll lower the hand down and let's bring that right leg through into, into the chest, rounding the spine. And then let's walk the leg forward, coming into pigeon. So we want that right knee stacked over the ankle. And you want your left knee back behind the hip as much as feels okay. And then if you wanna just kind of walk your foot over to the right a little bit, it provides a little bit of a wider base so you're more stable. Let's start gently just with rocking back and forth, dropping that hip back, lifting the heart with the inhale, exhale rocking. And then coming forward, pressing into the foot. If it feels okay, you could bring the hands to the knee or have the hands on the floor or a block. Think about pressing the right hip back, left hip forward, and then dropping down, releasing the front of the left hip. 
Shoulders are back and down, heart is lifted. You could stay here, you can bring the hands to the heart. Elbows out to cactus, engaging those shoulder blades or arms over the head. Gently arching from whatever position feels okay. And then we'll float the hands down and we'll place the hands on the inside of the foot. Tucking the toes of the back foot under. Let's just make some gentle circles with that right hip. Don't go too fast, just kind of slow it down. See where you can find a little more space in there. Go the other direction with the circles. And we'll drop that back leg down. Let's walk the right foot across the mat and drop that right knee down. We'll move into sleeping pigeon. If this doesn't feel comfortable, a um, couple of things you can add a blanket or block underneath that right hip for support. And if that still isn't working, you can bring that leg around and work with the cross four, either seated or on your back here to get that same stretch through that outside of that right hip and through the IT band. So the foot can be kind of out at a 40, 45, no, 90 degree angle, sorry. My brain is not working very well. Or you can have the foot all the way in toward the groin or somewhere in between. So trying to find a place where you can feel supported and steady. Lifting the heart, softening the shoulders. Soften around both hips. Sending the breath to the right hip, gently letting go. You can rock a little from side to side if that feels okay. You could come down onto the forearms or bring the forehead down toward the mat or the back of the hands. Just breathing into that right hip, the right IT band. Anywhere where you feel that tightness or tension, just softening around it. And we'll press into the hands, tuck the toes of the back foot under, and we'll come into a downward dog for a moment. If you're on your back, you could go ahead and turn over, coming back into downward dog, softening the knees, pressing the heels down, lengthening through the spine. Head is between the arms, but the chin is gently away from the chest. And then we'll come back down onto our knees, bringing those hands underneath the shoulders, softening the elbows, head extends out. We'll reach back through the left leg, dropping that left hip down so the hips are parallel to the mat, flexing the foot, actively reaching through the heel. Notice those elbows, keep them soft, and keep the right hip stacked over the right knee. Lifting the heart, lift the leg a little higher if that feels okay. Strengthening through the back. You can stay here or extend that right arm out. Keeping the left elbow slightly bent. And we'll float that right hand down, draw the left knee in, rounding the spine. And then we'll walk that left foot forward. 
working on having the left knee stacked over the ankle with the right knee behind the right hip. So you have a little bit of stretch there in the front of the hip. You can again walk the left foot out a little bit so that you have a nice wide base. And we'll just gently rock back and forth for a moment. Inhale, lifting the heart. Exhale, rocking back. And with your next inhale, we'll stay up toward the front, actively pressing into the left foot. Let's press the left hip back, right hip forward. You can stay with the hands on the mat or bring the hands to the knee, lifting the heart, shoulders back and down. Think about softening gently through the front of the right hip. You can stay here or bring the hands to the heart. Elbows out to cactus or arms up toward the sky. And whichever position feels okay, if it feels all right for your back, add a little arch. Softening through the front of that right hip, pressing back to the left hip. And then we'll float our hands down on the inside of the foot. Tucking the toes of that back foot under, we'll again begin making some of those slow, gentle circles with the hip. Really listening to your body. And reversing the circles. We'll bring the back knee down and let's walk the foot across, dropping that knee down. Again, adding cushion underneath or blanket underneath the hip or moving onto your back, working on the, or, or in the seated position, working on cross four if that feels better for you. Again, adjusting the foot at whatever angle feels best for you right now. And trying to have those hips parallel to the floor and kind of rock a little, loosening that up. Think about lifting the heart, softening through the hips. And then we'll gently fold over, coming onto forearms or bringing the forehead to the hands. Sending the breath to the left hip, gently letting go. And then we'll press into the hands. Tuck the toes of the back foot under, reaching that leg back into downward dog. Or if you're on your back, go ahead and come back into downward dog. Softening the knees, reaching back through the hips. Heels floating low. And then we'll gently walk our hands back toward our feet, softening those knees, letting the ribs rest on the thighs, dropping the head. And with your next inhale, sweep the arms out and up, bringing the palms together over the head, and exhale, hands to the heart. Let's work with Dancer as a balance pose today. So if you wanna use the wall for support, it's nice if you can have your hands uh, or be facing the wall so you can reach out and, and support that way. So 
if you um, want to use a strap for this, um, Sarah taught us a cool way. If you step on the strap and then cross it over and then grab hold behind, it's an easier way to lift it. So finding the support of the wall and our strap. We'll find our balance on both feet. Spine tall, shoulders back and down, belly strong, knees soft. Lift the toes, spreading them wide as you lower them down. Find your focus spot, your drishti, or your gaze, and shift your weight to your left leg. Then we'll gently bend the right leg behind us so you can either hold it with that strap or take hold of the foot or ankle. And think about dropping that right knee down. Lift the heart and roll the right shoulder back. You can be reaching out to the wall with that left hand. You could play with balance by wiggling the fingers or lifting them. Or if it feels okay, you could bring that left arm up by the ear. Heart is lifted, shoulders are back and down. You could stay here or begin pushing the foot into the hand. And I actually like to have my hand on the inside of the foot. Pushing the foot into the hand, reaching behind us, torso coming gently forward. Thinking about those hips staying parallel to the floor by dropping that right hip and then using the glutes to lift the leg a little higher when you find that steady spot. Listening to your body. When you're ready, gently lowering down, shaking out the legs, and then we'll work with the other side. So if you're using a strap, you can hook that under the foot, cross over, and then take a, have it so you can hold on behind. If you're using the wall, you'll want your right hand being able to reach out to the wall. Feet hip width apart, spine tall, shoulders back and down, belly strong, knees soft. Lifting the toes, spreading them wide as you lower them down. Shifting the weight to the right foot, having that knee be soft. Finding a focus spot for your gaze. We'll gently begin to bend the left leg, taking hold of the foot or ankle or pulling it up with the strap. Rolling that left shoulder back and down. <laughs> Catching our thumbs if we lose balance. <laughs> and either reaching out toward the wall, working on balance by lifting the fingers, or bringing the arm up by the ear. Can stay here, or if it feels okay, begin pushing the foot into the hand and bringing the torso gently forward. Keeping that left hip drop down toward the mat. Once you find a steady place, engage the glutes, lifting the leg a little higher. And then gently coming down when you're ready and shaking out those legs. I definitely find it more challenging to balance on the carpeting floor than on the, <laughs> the wood floor of the studio. <laughs> All right, let's spread our legs nice and wide. And we'll interlace our fingers. Inhale the arms up over the head. We'll make those big circles with our breath. So as you exhale, reaching toward the right leg sweeping across to the left. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, folding, really softening those knees and easing the low back. The next time you come up to the center, we'll go the other direction. Exhaling to the left. Sweeping across and inhaling from the right.
And we'll float our hands down. Let's walk the feet um, closer toward each other, just outside of hip width apart. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold forward gently and soften the knees coming into Malasana squat. So you can bend the knees, having the hips lifted, working on strengthening here. Or if it feels okay, you could lower those hips down onto a block or down by the hips. Nope, those are heels. <laughs> and you can also come all the way to the mat, walking the feet a little further apart, working on opening the hips here. So finding that position that feels comfortable for you, lengthening through the spine, softening through the hips, also helps with our digestion. And when you're ready, coming the rest of the way down, and then we'll bring the soles of our feet together in Baddha Konasana. And taking hold at the toes or ankles, lengthening the spine up tall, and then leaning forward, tilting the pelvis, bringing the heart forward over the feet, just as far as feels okay. That might be just a little tilt. You might be able to come all the way down or just find a place in between. Thinking about lengthening the spine out from the hips, Tilting forward and softening through the groin muscles. And with your next inhale, lift up tall. Bring the hands on the outside of the knees. Bring them together. Give a little hug, rounding the spine. And then coming back to cross-legged. We'll lengthen the spine up tall. And with your next exhale, drop the right ear over the right shoulder, tucking the shoulder back and down, breathing into the right side of the neck. With the next inhale, come back to the center. And exhale, drop the left ear over the left shoulder. Tuck the left shoulder back and down, breathing into the right side of the neck. I sometimes notice, sometimes notice I'm pulling forward here, so just lifting the spine, having the shoulders stacked over the hips. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, turn the chin over the right shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, turn the chin over the left shoulder. Inhale, center. And let the breath go. And we'll bend the knees in front of us. Gently roll back. Lengthening the spine. We'll lift the feet up toward the sky, rocking our hands or a block underneath the hips to support the legs. 
Lengthen the back of the neck. Ankles and knees are soft as you breathe into the belly. Gently bend the knees, rocking the hands or block out from underneath the hips. You can bring the hands to the knees, rocking side to side or making small circles with the low back. Reversing the circles. And if you like one last twist, bringing the arms out to the side Dropping the knees to the right, vision to the left. Coming back to the center, dropping the knees to the left, vision to the right. Inhale to the center. And lowering the feet down, extending the legs out into Shavasana. You can have the legs extended. You can have a bolster underneath the knees. You can also walk the feet out to the edges of the mat with the knees bent and rest those knees together. So finding a position where you can feel comfortable and relaxed and even covering up a little with a blanket or your sweatshirt or something just to keep that warmth in your body. Shoulders are tucked back and down. Arms slightly away from the body with the palms turned up. Relax the forehead. Soften your eyes, loosen your jaw. Gently bring your awareness back to the breath. Allow each inhale to fill you with a sense of peace and calm. Allowing you to exhale to release anything that no longer serves you. Release the muscles from the bones, surrendering them to the earth. Feeling its strength and support beneath you. Let the breath bring you back to your heart center. Reconnecting with the light and joy that always reside deep within your heart. Now 
Allow each breath to fill your heart with loving kindness for yourself. Sending that loving kindness on the breath to each and every cell of your body, honoring all of who you are in this moment. Now we begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. And stretch in whatever way feels comfortable for you. And gently bend your knees, roll to your side and rest there for a moment. And gently return to a seated position. We'll end with a meta blessing of loving kindness. Please feel free to join in. May all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings have peace. May all beings awaken to the light of their true nature. May all beings be free. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.